Hello, welcome to my channel, Creating Your Haven. I'm really happy that you are here. Today I'm going to be going over something from a book, The 10 Basic Principles of Good Parenting by Lawrence Steinberg. And if you follow me on my Instagram, I have been quoting him a lot. So I wanted to point out this book to you guys and where I'm getting that from. But Lawrence Steinberg is a psychologist and a parenting expert. And this book is based off of thousands of research studies. And he's found patterns and was, has been able to narrow it down into just 10 basic principles. And he's put it in a language that's understandable for just an average normal person. So today, from this book, I want to talk about something. And it is that your child is watching you. Every day, every minute um, that they're with you, they're observing you. When it's obvious they're observing you or when it's less obvious, like when they're just in the same room. Um, but kids do, they sit and watch and observe you and they actually have an innate desire to be like you. That's how children are programmed. They're programmed to want to grow up to be just like their mom or if they're a boy, maybe but like their dad. This starts from the time that they are a newborn. So if you look at a newborn and like stick your tongue out at them, like they'll do it back. And I have a four month old now and I tried it on her when she was a newborn and they totally do. Like it's the craziest thing. Um, but she watches what we do and she tries to do it with her mouth. So from the time they're newborn on, you you don't really have breaks, like they're watching you and observing you and they watch how you interact with people. And as they start getting toward the stranger danger phase, they, they look to you and that's how they can understand if someone is scary or a danger or a threat to them by, you know, the look on your face or uh, whether you're smiling and happy and welcoming to that person or if you're closed off. They watch and they notice that. So basically you can think of this as you being in the center stage and your child is out in the audience watching you and your every move in every aspect of your life. You know, you think physically how you are emotionally and how you treat people, how you treat your child. They're watching and they are taking notes and learning to become like you are. My parenting tip for you is to be an example for your child. Be who you want your child to be. If you want your child to be kind, then you need to be kind to them and you need to be kind to everyone around you. If you want your child to be social and friendly, then think of that next time you are at the grocery store. Are you, you know, smiling and saying hi to people or are you just plugging away with your head down and um, you know, basically ignoring people? And lately I've been thinking of this on an emotional level. Um, how are you normally? Are you anxious? Are you generally pretty happy? Um, how do you feel most of the time and what are you portraying to your child through your facial expressions and um, how you're reacting to certain situations. Like for example, I am terrified of spiders, but I don't necessarily want my son to be terrified of spiders. So just trying to put on my brave face when I see a spider. Okay, one more example. So. We took my son to a play area in the mall and my son is naturally pretty, uh, he keeps to himself and isn't super, um, doesn't really put himself out there, I guess I shouldn't say. And another little boy approached him and he kind of looked at him and was like, Rawr! and my son looked over at me with like these big eyes, like he was terrified. So I just looked back at the little boy and I'm like, Rawr! and 
my son got this biggest smile on his face and I mean the whole rest of the time we were there he was pretending he was a dinosaur and I've never seen him really act like that like usually he doesn't get into character and um, get into playing with other kids so this was a really good lesson to me that you know just taking a step out of myself as an adult and you know usually I just like to sit off in the corner on the bench and just showing him that it's okay to be playful and it's okay to have fun and um, be silly and have a sense of humor and not just be so serious all the time. Well, thanks again for watching and if you have any awesome stories or things to share pertaining to this topic, I hope that you will share them in the comment section. We'll see you guys next time!